Hi there, and welcome back to Stubbs Aquatics. In this episode, we're going to be doing a submersible pump review. Tiger contacted me and asked me if I would do a review on their HG077 submersible pump. I can always use a submersible pump, and, and you know me, I like to have something that has multiple uses. He asked me which size I wanted. I asked for the uh, 28 watt, but they sent me the 12 watt, which is a pretty small pump for my purposes, but I wanted to give you a review on it. And I was actually pleasantly surprised. And I've left you links down below uh, if you're interested in this product. I do not get a commission uh, on this at all. So it's entirely up to you. And I'll lay out the pros and cons of uh, this uh, particular product. It came with two, uh, basically, hoods, which surprised me. I've never seen that before. And I think it's a pretty cool idea, actually. The first one, you can control the amount of intake. So this little pump can pump uh, up to 160 gallons an hour. So great little uh, bird bath or... If you have a small aquarium and you want to empty it. So you can close it right down so it's virtually nothing. Or you can open it wide open. And this protects your motor and propeller. The second one, if you want to hook it up, has no front intake but all bottom. So if you want to drain a tank right down, I think this could work. Providing it was the right size for your tank. I really like it. Uh, you can get down right into the gravel with that and pump it right down. It also comes with two uh, connectors or adapters for different size hoses. I chose to go with the smaller, the quarter inch. And I really do like how uh, simple of design this is. Uh, impeller, just easily popped in. And you just take that out to clean. I'm happy to tell you this is metal, not plastic. And really good how simple this is to hook up. Now, this is already attached uh, when you get it. As you can see, it's very easy to hook up. Snap that right in. Now, if you want to use this to uh, really uh, put lots of air in your aquarium, never seen this done, but I, I'm anxious to actually give it a try. With a little hose attached, and you can control the amount of air that goes in. So I'll be sure to give that a test. The pump itself only has about three and a half foot uh, lift, which is relatively a small lift, so it's not very powerful. Again, I would probably go with a 28 watt simply because it's got about five and a half feet lift. Uh, that'll definitely help on bigger aquarium, especially if you're near the bottom and wanting to drain it. One of the other things I'm, I have to be honest that I'm not impressed with is it's only a six foot uh, cord on it. Well, if you've got a, a large tank, you're going to need an extension cord be hooked up to anywhere so you know i think a minimum cord length should be nine if not 12 feet and if they're promoting this as a bird bath or good for uh, very small ponds just more than six feet for your plug but uh, let's uh, actually see how it performs i like to find multiple uses for certain products in this case i took my 50 foot uh, auto water changer and I wanted to be able to adapt it to this pump for uh, use in uh, lower uh, aquariums. See, my 50-foot hose is connected directly to a drain. And I don't want to be moving it around. So I've drilled a hole in the wall. And it goes right to the sump pump. No, no, There's no mess. There's no fuss. It's just so much easier. So I was really hoping that this small pump would be able to pump out the water from lower aquariums. 
So it was an easy uh, fix for me, just uh, attaching this. And it, it connected perfectly uh, to this pump. I was able to drop it in this 30-gallon uh, tank that, as you can see, it's, well, it's, it's floor level. And I needed to get all the water out so I could move on uh, from these barbs. Getting a, a tank from basically floor level has always been a bit of an issue. I was really happy to see how well this worked. As you can see, I was able to drain this tank completely down. That was pretty amazing. I was impressed with that. If you wanted to use it to oxygenate a tank, or super oxygenate a tank, I think it would do a great job. Or for even keeping a small area of a, a shallow pond open. I really don't know what other use you would find for the, the hose, uh, air hose on it. But I'm sure someone would have a, a use for it. As I said, it's got relatively a weak lift, but more than enough uh, for a bird bath or for doing hydroponics. I, I changed that to a half inch uh, hose, so it's not under the same pressure as it was. So what did I like about this pump? Well, surprisingly, it was able to pump all that tank, that 30-gallon tank, uh, that I would normally have to run uh, my other uh, siphoning system and waste water. This, I didn't have to waste any water, and I was able to pump it through 50 feet of hose right into my sump pump. So I thought that was excellent. Uh, again, I should have gone, I wish they had sent me the 28-watt to the 12 watt uh, to test that. Um, they indicate that it's good for water changes. Well, they said if it's basically if uh, because of the lack of lift to put the water bucket on a chair and then pump it into your aquarium. Well, if I can lift it to the chair, I can lift it in my aquarium. So I can't really see any use of that. Although I did pump from the bottom tank, as you saw, to the upper tank, which is more than the, the three feet lift. So it did reach that capability, which, uh, you know, I, I don't think I would ever use that. I guess if you had a small sump pump uh, system to your tank, you could use that. Again, I really don't like uh, the short cord on that. Um, I think they could improve on that and make it a 9 to 12 foot. I do like how uh, simple it is to uh, get to the mag drive to take that out and to clean it. I like that it has two options. To, so you can either take from the bottom uh, and take it right down or uh, not quite and not drain it all the way down. And I like how you can close it off. That way if you wanted to empty uh, uh, something and were worried about you sucking up your fry, you could basically close that off. Uh, so you could you wouldn't be sucking up the fry. I like how they put some thought into that. I hope they're going to listen uh, with respect to what modifications that they should make. That's that's entirely up to them. Well, I hope you found this helpful. I'll let you know what else I uh, tend to use this for, because uh, I think I could probably use it for uh, painting some uh, barrels with uh, fish I do outside and maybe a little hydroponics. If not, I'll definitely be using it for uh, draining my lower tanks because uh, it worked well for that. Well, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.